I apologize. Uh, I forgot. Ainsley started this hour by talking about a brand new poll that uh, has got to be putting a smile on Donald Trump's uh, face. It's a brand new poll out of the swing state of Florida. This is from Bloomberg. And as you can see, Donald Trump is leading Hillary Clinton. It's within the margin of error, but it's 45 to 43 to uh, 43. It's interesting. Investors Business Daily, which uh, last time was the most accurate, uh, this morning has them tied in a four-way race at 41. That's the one that, that called the Mitt Romney race to the T, to the decimal, right? Right down to the decimal, exactly. Well, so well, it has been tied? Yeah, let's think about what has taken place. We have these Veritas tapes that show that violence was uh, perpetrated by DNC uh, operatives to, at the Trump rallies. Then we have the WikiLeaks stuff that unwind the fact that behind the scenes, maybe the president and Hillary Clinton were not being honest with us when it came to the emails. Who would have thought? And now we have more revelations about what they knew or didn't know going in. A lot of stuff is irregardless of what the Donald Trump campaign is doing. So he's trying to stay on message. And then all of a sudden this news drops on Monday that even the president admits Obamacare is having big problems. Mm -hmm. He goes up bumps in the road when it comes to how it's being produced and the subsidies that are necessary. Here is Donald Trump on the rising cost of Obamacare that could crash the entire program. Everybody's going to be going up like that. They gave a number of 25% average. They know that's not true. They wanted to try and get out of, you know, get in front. They know that's not true. It's much more. You're going to have 60, 70, 80, 90% increases in Obamacare. We're going to repeal it, and we're going to replace it, and we're going to get you great, great health care at a fraction of the cost. Right, so everyone knows they're going to be rate hikes. We're hearing on average 25%. We just talked to the family down in Georgia. Theirs is more, more than doubled. How is this going to affect you? Well, we have a breakdown state by state. Mm -hmm. Look at this map. The folks in Arizona and Oklahoma and Tennessee, I can't read the writing, Ari Steve. What'd you say? Arizona is going to go up 116%. I know this is kind of hard to read. Uh, meanwhile, in the swing state of Pennsylvania, your average is going to go up 33%. In Virginia, 22 In North Carolina, 22 24, in Wisconsin, 20, in Michigan, 16. Right, so the darker the color, the worse for you and your family, right? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, so get this. Uh, one thing is abundantly clear, and it doesn't necessarily mean that one candidate is going to win and another candidate is going to lose, but the crowds are actually growing on the Trump side. As more outlets and, and newspapers say, oh, this is over, it seems as though the, no one told the American people because they don't think it's over. Yesterday, as he was pulling up in Tallahassee, there were thousands of people walking to an event sure. that there was already sold out. Sean Spicer noted this, and you know he's the communications director with the RNC, and said this to Steve earlier. About early voting. In Ohio, where Obama did very, very well in key counties, right. the counties that he did well in, Franklin County, they're down 32 percent. Hamilton County, down 8 percent. Montgomery County, down 10 percent. Summit County, down 18 percent. And then you go to a state like Wisconsin, where uh, you look at the top Republican counties, and this is good news not just for Donald Trump, but for Ron Johnson, is that uh, Waukesha County, up 28 percent. Washington County, up 25 percent. Ozaki County, up 49 percent for Republicans returning early ballot. You go down to Florida, we have a 9% lead on early ballot, including a really big lead in the key uh, I-4 corridor district. So in these key battleground states, not ignore, you know, take the polls aside for a second, right. where people are actually voting, and I hate to tell this to the Dems, but that's actually what matters, right. is that Republicans are doing much better in early vote than the Democrats. They need to crush it in early vote. They're not doing it. See, his point was, while uh, the Democrats said over the weekend, extraordinarily, we've seen eye-popping numbers uh, in the early voting, uh, the Democrats really need to energize their base. They, they think that's happening. But if Sean Spicer is right, and they've got a certain intensity on the Republican side where people who are identifying as Republicans are doing the early voting, that actually benefits Donald Trump. Because in early voting, that tends to help Democrats. And day of voting, the people who are going to vote on November 8th, traditionally show up in larger numbers as Republicans. Wow. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the Republican Party. It's an upheaval. And which wing of the, of the GOP is going to win? Donald Trump or Paul Ryan? And there was this poll that NBC and SurveyMonkey did saying that more people trust Donald Trump than they do Paul Ryan. They do. 63% trust Donald Trump and 34% trust Paul Ryan as far as leadership is concerned. It looks like the House, by most circles, outside Nancy Pelosi's house, uh, uh, will probably stay with Republicans, even though their lead will be less, uh, their advantage will be less. In the Senate, it's amazing. The 
crash of Obamacare is going to spell bad news and challenging times for one Senator Evan Bayh of Indiana and one Senator Ru Russ Feingold, who lost to, uh, to Senator Johnson last time around, the most liberal and the most conservative. I wonder if people are going to say, yeah, I know what you gave me last time. I want no part of it now. Right. We've been talking about WikiLeaks. They just released this new batch. And, you know, with every batch, we're finding out more information. Mm -hmm. and we try to present these to you on a daily basis because they just keep going and going. You're not going to see them on another channel. No, you're not. There was an email from Uma Abedin, excuse me, who, um, you know, is part of her campaign staff. Mm -hmm. And she says about Hillary, and this, uh, this was from April 2015. Here mm -hmm. it is. Read it on your screen. She says, she's going to stick to notes a little closer this a.m., this morning, still not perfect in her head. Okay, so she sent that out to the campaign staff. And so uh, people are wondering, what does that mean, still not perfect in her head? Famously, she had a concussion. She has fallen a number of times. People are going, no. is that proof that she, her health is not good? Maybe it means maybe in her head she's not good with the talking points, isn't comfortable with something. Nonetheless, you know, we had Ed Klein on in the last uh, day or two, and he was talking about how just three weeks ago she and Robbie Mook were in the Oval Office and she had a terrible coughing uh, fit that would not stop. They called in the White House physician and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Obama very concerned about Hillary's health. Is this related to her health or just she couldn't wrap her head around what they wanted to say talking point wise? We don't know. Well, that is a huge mystery. By the way, if you want to know what Hillary Clinton was doing when Game One, because she's such a big Cubs fan, yeah. Game One of the Cubs Indians. Everyone, quiet down. Leave me alone. I gotta watch the game or go see Adele. Which one? How big a Cubs fan are you if you make your whole crew go to see Adele? You find a sports bar, a Bennigan's, not anymore, sorry, sadly it's out of business, a Friday's, whatever, and you go watch the game. You can't pretend to be a Cubs fan and go to see Adele. Wait a minute, she pretended she was a Yankees fan when she was really a Cubs fan, so she could do pretty much anything. Well, That's she, true. she pretended to like hot sauce in one No, in she one had circle, hot sauce in her purse in one circle. Guest yesterday. But then yesterday she was on Univision saying that Mexican food was her favorite, and it was her birthday, so they yeah. rolled out a cake. They didn't talk about the email scandal. They rolled out wow. a cake, and she no, did some no. salsa dancing.